ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah, welcome to this platform. Basically, we are going to look at um, two teams are going to debate on the modernization theory. Uh, the debate is going to take this platform. We are going to have uh, two rounds of the debates. The first round of the debate will uh, look at uh, presentation, general presentations of the two sides of the discussion. Uh, those arguing for will be the uh, first to present their point of view why they think the modernization theory has immensely contributed to the growth of the uh, development discourse. And after that presentation, we'll also invite the, those arguing against to do their own presentation also as to why they think the modernization theory has not got enough to, I mean, enough contribution to the growth of the development discourse. Let me, let me tell you the start. Once the first, uh, I mean, presenter having gone through the protocols, you will just come, every other presenter will just standing on the existing protocols, then you go. Okay. You just stand on the existing but protocol and you go. So you don't need to go through this, this, you just stand on the existing protocols and then you can go. Eh? Okay, so we now call on the the team arguing for the motion. The world today is uh, growing in the, in the way of uh, modernization theory. They're trying to, to discourage how this happens in the traditional way of doing things. But before going further, I may like to give honor to those who honor this deal. And uh, I want to see Mr. Chairman, panel of judges, um, our honorable le lecturers, my good debaters, ladies and gentlemen, good morning to you all. The motion before us this morning is to argue about the modernization theory in the development discourse. I hereby stand in of supporting the motion that indeed the modernization theory is creating a prolific and a positive way in the development of our nation. As my colleague rightly said, um, modernization theory came about by uh, a German scholar by the name Max Weber. But I'm here to give you the meaning of modernization theory. Modernization theorists are saying that development is a process of developing countries becoming more like the West, those countries that are considered to be developed. They are saying that in order for us to be modernized, we need to copy the Western style of um, development. And famous among them was Rostow. In 1971, he suggested five stages that if developing countries are to go through these stages, they can experience what we call development. And he named them as one, the primitive or the traditional stage. And if he went further to describe them, and for the primitive or traditional stage, this is where you find subsistence agriculture as a dominant practice in most societies. And for him, he's saying that we cannot develop if we are still using the crude way of development, the O and Cutlass method and he suggested another stage, which is the preconditions for takeoff or the transitional stage. So because of modernization, they have been in more medication, more health systems that look at critical issues that need to be addressed. But I want to look on based on the social, economic and the political impact of the modernization. Today, if we look at the, um, the, the political impact of the modernization theory, today Africa Today, Africa is having a strong institution compared to, um, to previous to, to ancient days. We look about the modernization, the mass consumption, all these things I want to just lay emphasis on. When we have this mass consumption in modernization, it helps us first to see how our economy becomes growing, how we grow in the economy, how can this impact us, the income, how we earn money. Uh, then we now come on the other parts to make their own submission. I start by saying, because it worked for one doesn't mean it will work for all the same way. With this, Mr. Chairman, panel of distinguished journalists, our creator and keeper, my coordinators, 
On behalf of my team, I greet you all in the name of Allah, the most gracious and the most merciful. Modernization, modernization, we'll all be talking about modernization. But what is modernization? The centerpiece about modernization is about third world nations following the developmental footsteps of Europe and America. How can we do that? Without respect for our diverse cultures, our economic status, our political stance. One of the problems that the modernization theory has brought in the third world countries, also known as the developing countries, is foreign aid. Foreign aid has been an alien to the developing countries, the third world countries, for decades now. Modernization, it seems to be the guide of rooted from capitalism. And what is capitalism? Capitalism may be defined as the owing of private investment or business. But here is the case of Africa, where the majority are poor. Every change in simple sense here means the change of our climate in a normal way to something else, which, called, which leads to global warming. Industrialization has been of an effect to modernization. In a sense, timber cutting, factories, timber logging and all, has been of a bigger and greater effect. We have completed the first round of the, the debates, uh, which is a presentation, submission of a, uh, points. And now we are going to the most interesting part of it, uh, which is the discourse point of it. We want to see the challenges coming out from the groups now. So now we do the, uh, the rivers. We are now inviting uh, the team uh, opposing the motion to come out with their strong uh, points. Uh, I mean, to if they have anything to critique, the other team has submitted. So you now have the opportunity to do so. I've been keenly listening to what my colleagues have present, presented. Let me now critique what is their stance about the modernization theory. To start with, I would like to start from the first speaker, Mawa. She said, develop modernization theory is about copying the Western developed world and for countries that have, that have not yet developed to copy the Western developed world style. Let me specifically focus on that for copy. The world, when we copy those people, we are failing to realize that we have political, economical, social, and cultural diversity between us. In other words, you are trying to see development is a one size fits all, and that is not applicable in the development discourse because what might be good for America might not be good for Sierra Leone at a particular point in time. Modernization the only fail to seek the consent of our culture simply because they want for us, and let me just put it in simple, and the modernization theory is egocentric. And egocentric simply means we try to have their own ideas instead of what, living our own ideas, which our traditional people has become used to. I know he only asked the question, but he never told us how does we follow the footsteps of the African people. My colleague that said, before now, there were, treat, there were no ways to treat people, there were, and now there are ways to treat people. But the ways, are they available to the people, to the resources? Are these ways of treating people, do they really match our financial state? Call on the other party. I want to thank my brother, Alvistein, and uh, Janet. I want to first of all respond from Janet's side, which uh, she was like saying to Ross, or telling us that um, the issue of foreign aid, I will not deliberate, but I just want to respond to the issue of saying Africa as a continent loses $20 million for just rice. Then this tells you that why are we not accepting modernization to go into commercialization farming? rather than just farming for ourselves in Africa, just for me to eat. So point that type of money, why can't you move to modernization and accept it to a wider way or a better perspective to family? Respond to, to, to um, Alusain when he said, I spoke of aid, and he's, he's saying that aid has been a disease which pretends to be the cure in Africa. 
and I stand to say no to that. Although there are several criticisms, like the, the dependency theory, is saying that the poor nations are, are sucking the economic vitality from the peripheral nations. But come to look at it, we as a peripheral nation, will, will we will be able to have the, the know-how to, to, to transform raw materials into finished goods. Out of my mind, just now that I was going to of my jotting, I saw this one. She was saying, or I liked it, that Australia fire break out was out of industrialization. I want to first of all make her do a proper research on that one. The fire break out in Australia was as a result of nowhere to be found. They don't know where it comes in. It's coming from. It's an energy, it's a disaster. It's a disaster, but who does it? Is it not is it an industry that does the, the, the disaster? I'm coming, I'm coming. It's natural disaster. It's a natural disaster. I can decide to be fear and complacent tomorrow because of what? Modernization. Even you yourself are accepting timekeeper to uh, provide two, two minutes by each group to, um, so that we can give opportunity to those who have not uh, been able to say out things so that they will make their contribution. I just want to conclude to what my team has already said. In addition to what they said, modernization is all about Africa following the, foot, the development footsteps of the Western world. But however, I believe my team has already convinced you that the modernization theory did not fit into the third world country setting. One, because um, the conditions were not favorable as compared to the Western world when this theory was implemented. Or we can say because they failed to take into consideration the political, social, economical, and cultural differences between Africa and the Western world. Uh, my fellow debater here has said that the new technology has not helped the middle world countries in any ways. But I'm here to rebut that point by saying they have. We say, for example, when the, corona, when the corona outbreak was at its peak, lecturers and other teachers created an e-learning platform whereby they can conduct online classes for they, they can conduct online classes for students to be able to catch up with their academic works. Finally, I'm here to respond on what Yola just said. He said you are using 20 million of dollars to just import guys. Why can't we use the modernization system here to just provide guys for ourselves that we can use that to provide guys for ourselves that we can eat and also implement the commercialization of planning system? Fighting the judges now to give us uh, maybe a holistic summary of uh, the fact, the submissions, how the debates uh, uh, go, and as well as uh, what are some of the observations. It's very entertaining for the most part. Um, in terms of the topic, I think um, you've uh, managed to demonstrate uh, that you've done a fair amount of research on both sides. Um, one of the things I would say is um, that you, you, some of your points, I would say, were slightly inaccurate just because of the way you presented them. Um, one, one example of that was the way that you discussed aid um, and then the extraction of natural resources. They don't necessarily go hand in hand. Aid uh, is not a method of extracting natural resources. Um, Large-scale extraction is actually part of the capitalization process and obviously aid is a part of, of what we think of as so-called development. So, so they are related under development but aid is not a method of extracting resources. Um, so that's one thing to think about. And then they lack clarity. In fact, to the point where some of them came out a little bit racist. Um, so just be careful in terms of the way you generalize all Africans, all Europeans, um, all Americans. Okay, um, you're absolutely right, and I would agree with some of the points you're making, but just be careful with overgeneralizations. It you can lead to, to causing a sense, obviously. Yeah. Right. Other than that, very well done from me. All right. okay, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Jess. Elan, but today we just have to accept. So these are all, these are all policy implications in terms of. So in other words, the modernization theory is not that much of it. It has had so many positive impacts, but yet there are downsides of it because uh, negating uh, local knowledge in itself is also is prone to. I mean, people may not.
people may not own the development process itself. They will see development as an aspect of uh, the experts, the job of the expert. And development from a, a, a practical uh, reality, development reality, development must not be seen as the work of the expert, but rather it must be rooted from the culture, the culture of the people. Okay, so uh, for uh, the sake of time, uh, I thank you very much the two uh, uh, groups for the wonderful job you've done. And also, I want to take this opportunity to also thank my uh, <laughs> and then also the camera crew and the rest of the other uh, uh, participants for the time you spent or the time you I mean you spare to attend to this uh, very important occasion. So I thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.